A flashback that will have you stumped. She is a household name thanks to her hit TV series set in NYC but in this throwback from the 70s it's almost impossible to tell who she is. Can you name her? She has a long and varied career in Hollywood that includes fun 80s movies as well as a massive TV series that changed the way women look at fashion and friendship. On Thursday this acclaimed blonde bombshell posted to Instagram a photo from her past. And the red carpet wizard took it way back in time to before she made it big in Hollywood. The beauty in question was seen with curly jet black hair and a straw hat adding a period costume for a role as she gazed at the camera confidently. In her caption she explained the image was taken from the set of a period drama in the 1970s. Can you guess who she is? It's 66-year-old Kim Cattrall. The beauty was in hit films in the 1980s Police Academy, 1984, City Limits, 1985. Big Trouble in Little China, 1986, Mannequin, 1987, Masquerade, 1988. But her biggest fame came on the small screen. The star, who was born in England, played Samantha Jones on Sex and the City which aired on HBO from 1998 until 2004. The thespian worked opposite Sarah Jessica Parker, Kristen Davis and Cynthia Nixon. The show was a fashion force, pushing women to wear high heels and be more daring with their designer looks. It also helped fuel an obsession with expensive brands such as Chanel and Louis Vuitton. The role won Kim Raves. She received five Emmy Award nominations and four Golden Globe Award nominations. Winning the 2002 Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress, she reprised the role in the film Sex and the City, 2008, and Sex and the City 2, 2010. Catrall told Variety this year she at first didn't want to play Samantha. I turned it down three times. I didn't think I could do it. At 42, I really didn't think I could pull it off. I finally said, you're making a mistake here. We did the pilot, it was good but it wasn't there. And then it started to find its way. I realized, because I'd never done a series before, the more you play the character. Like in theater, the more you add to it and change. I remember one day, a laugh came out, and I thought, holy sh asterisk t, that's great. Sam just got a new laugh. But she is not a part of the sequel and just like that thanks to a reported long-simmering feud. With Parker, she told Variety, it's a great wisdom to know when enough is enough. I also didn't want to compromise what the show was to me. The way forward seemed clear. In this new image she is seen with dark hair and a hat. The caption reads, 1977 my first job as a contract player at MCA Universal Studios. A period drama called Testimony of Two Men for Operation Prime Time. I played Cousin Maud who came to visit on July 4th weekend. Dot. Leo Penn, Sean's dad, directed. Hashtag TBT. Her career started in the 1970s. Catrall made her film debut in Rosebud in 1975. She came to prominence in the 1980s with films such as Ticket to Heaven, 1981. Police Academy, 1984, City Limits, 1985, Big Trouble in Little China, 1986. Mannequin, 1987, Masquerade, 1988, Midnight Crossing, 1988. And The Return of the Musketeers, 1989. The star then worked many times with director Bob Clark. Kim was in four of his films, Tribute, 1980. Porky's, 1981, Turk 182, 1985, and Baby Geniuses, 1999. Her other film credits include The Bonfire of the Vanities, 1990, Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country, 1991, Split Second, 1992, Above Suspicion, 1995, 15 Minutes, 2001, Crossroads, 2002, Ice Princess, 2005, My Boy Jack, 2007, The Ghost Rider, 2010, and Meet Monica Velour, 2010. On stage, Catrall appeared in the 1986 Broadway production of Michael Frayn's Wild Honey. 
Her other stage credits include August Strindberg's Miss Julie, McCarter Theatre Center, 1993, William Shakespeare's Antony and Cleopatra, Liverpool Playhouse, 2010, Noel Coward's Private Lives, Broadway, 2011, and Tennessee Williams's Sweet Bird of Youth, The Old Vic, 2013. From 2014 to 2016, Catrall starred and served as executive producer on the HBO Canada series. Sensitive Skin, for which she received a nomination for the Canadian Screen Award for Best Actress in a Comedy Series. She later starred on the Paramount Plus streaming television series Tell Me a Story. Fox drama Filthy Rich and Peacock drama Queer as Folk. As of 2022, she stars in How I Met Your Father as Future Sophie.